Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So the first myth that we will be busting today is Sunlight Green Bar Soap is good at removing acne and dark spots. Can it be true? The holy grail of all holy grails. The South African staple. The gem of all gems when it comes to cleaning. So Sunlight Bar Soap claims to be a multi-purpose, multi-functional wash bar soap. And when it comes to skincare, this is really something that you should maybe raise an eyebrow because anything multifunctional, two in one, three in one, should raise your eyebrow and is a huge, huge red fly. I feel like each product is meant to be for a specific purpose, whether it's just to cleanse your face, whether it's just to hydrate your face, whether it's just to moisturize your face, whether it's just to exfoliate your face. When you look into sunlight bar soap and you try to understand what is the reason for it being a good acne or dark spot remover, what in sunlight actually proves this statement to be true? Once again, I did my little research and I took a look at the sunlight bar soap ingredient list. I was just like, oh, whoa. I was shocked. I was really, really shocked because interesting enough, sunlight bar soap resembles almost the same ingredient list as hand wash. And I am pretty sure a lot of people wouldn't want to use hand as their face cleanser. And if you take a deeper look into the ingredient list, you'll find out that the only good ingredients when it comes to sunlight bar soap that could actually be helpful or beneficial to the skin, I only found two, and that was titanium dioxide and glycerin. And titanium dioxide is basically a lubricating whitening sunscreen ingredient. This is an amazing ingredient and it is usually found in a lot of sunscreen products. And that's what makes titanium dioxide so amazing as an ingredient in your sunscreen or your moisturizers because you know you're getting some sort of protection from UVA and UVB rays and we all know how important that is. But the problem is, is that when titanium dioxide is found in a cleanser, it's kind of not as useful you rinse this product off it doesn't actually stay on the face to actually fulfill its purpose and that's a pity because titanium dioxide is such a good ingredient and not only that it is mined on the ingredient list so the possibilities of its concentration being very low is very high because when it comes to ingredients the higher the ingredient is on the list the more the concentration the lower the ingredient is on the list, the lower the concentration. And I will be making a video on how to read an ingredient list later. And the second good ingredient found in sunlight green bar soap is glycerin. Now glycerin is the master of hydration and it is found in many products because it's so amazing at hydrating our skin and reducing the water loss from our skin that we can face throughout the day. And basically glycerin is classified as a humectant and a humectant is basically a substance that helps you reduce water loss. And this really helps when it comes to cleansers. So as soon as you're finished washing your face and you rinse off the product, you don't have that tight feeling. You don't feel like your skin has been stripped of all the oils and moisture that it needs this is where glycerin comes in it keeps your face feeling hydrated and moisturized even after using a cleanser and that's another thing when it comes to sunlight green bar soap is that as soon as you're finished washing your face and you rinse it off your face feels so dry it is crazy i used to use sunlight bar so i honestly felt like as soon as i'm done using it i feel really clean I, you know i don't know like i'm sure everybody knows what i'm talking about right now but you feel like clean if you get what i mean like you feel squeaky clean and the thing is when it comes to your skin is that that squeaky clean feeling that you want that can result into a more stripped dry face is actually really really bad face to face to have some oils to keep it hydrated and moisturized so that you don't have any damage to your skin barrier when your skin is feeling stripped or dry that is basically meaning that that product is a little bit too harsh for your skin and the rest of the ingredients is really packed with fragrance this can cause some sort 
sort of irritation to the skin or be very skin sensitizing as well so when you look at sunlight green forest you really can't find any ingredient that has the function of clearing acne or reducing acne and dark spots or be beneficial to acne treatment itself however though the reason why sunlight green bar soap does work for some people is that because you've probably used this product at a very young age so your skin has been exposed to this product at a very young age and as you know with any product especially when it comes to acids that you need to gradually introduce it to your skin so that your skin can get used to the products and because you use sunlight at such a young age your skin is used to this and when it comes to clearing acne and dark spots the best thing to do is go back to the basics and for your skin sunlight green bar soap is the basic and hence it works for you and for those who try sunlight for the first time because they've heard so and so tried it and it worked great for them and you start breaking out like crazy and your skin is irritated that's because of the harsh ingredient it has however though sunlight green bar soap it is really great at a household for product and i really love their pledge to the environment and helping people become more environmentally aware and actually helping making the environment better for all of us so is sunlight good for removing dark spots and acne? Unfortunately, no. But it is good for every other task that it does say it is made for. And for those that it actually does work, it is because for your skin, it is a basic. And that is why when it comes to maybe following someone else's routine or skincare hack, just be very careful because what works for someone else might not work for you. And the products that you should be looking at are products that have benzoyl peroxide because benzoyl peroxide is a great ingredient when it comes to skincare products because it is an antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. Another good ingredient that you can also look for is salicylic acid, retinoids, retinols. These are also really good ingredients, especially when there are active ingredients in the product because their main purpose is to actually unclog pores. Another thing is if you really do have a problem with acne and dark spots, then I highly advise you to see your dermatologist or to see an esthetician to help you with this problem because they probably know what will be best for your skin. Moving on to myth number two, Vaseline causes acne. So Vaseline is actually the best and safest product that you can put on your face. Like, I don't know what's up with people and Vaseline, but I feel like when it comes to Vaseline, people are just like, <coughs> but really Vaseline is just like, why are you running? Why are you running? Because all Vaseline really wants to do is help you love your skin and get that glow, healthy look. How this statement probably came about is because Vaseline contains an ingredient called petroleum or petrolatum. And I guess when people heard petroleum, they automatically thought of the petroleum found in oil or in factories. And yes, that is true. That petroleum found in oil and oil factories does cause acne and can cause irritation to the skin. But the petroleum that is found in our products is cosmetic graded and it is 100% purified. When it comes to Vaseline, it's actually not absorbed by the skin which is really, really great, meaning that it doesn't clog the pores and clogged pores causes acne. And another great thing about this, if it's not absorbed by the skin, that means it doesn't bind to proteins. And if it doesn't bind to proteins, that means a immune response will not occur. An immune response occurring means that somehow your skin will have a certain reaction to it. So it's really, really great at reducing water loss and trapping water as well. Vaseline is probably one of the best products when it comes to trans epidermis water loss and basically what trans epidermis water loss is is the evaporation of water from the skin and can lead to dryness you know those little white hairs all those little black hairs that you find those are actually comedones 
and your white hairs are your closed chlamydones and your black hairs are your open chlamydones and this is just part of acne and Vaseline has really no influence in this because this is just part of acne unfortunately so does Vaseline cause acne? I don't think so and on to the third myth the only reason why we continuously moisturize our lips and our hands throughout the day is because our lips and the palm of our hands don't contain pores meaning that they do not self-moisturize and we need to go in with lip balms or hand cream just to keep our hands being dry and moisturize them and hydrate them throughout the day and the reason why you lick your lips is just a responsive mechanism that your body does to hydrate your lips because there is no sebum production to keep your lips hydrated saliva doesn't contain all the essential oils to actually have that plumpy hydrated lip look to it hence we have all these products that have all these essential oils that we can place on our lips and our hands when you lick your lips just take it as a sign that my lips are dry and i need to moisturize or even sometimes it actually could be an indication that your body is dehydrated you need to drink some water as well so everything that your body does do naturally just take it as a signal from your body that something is missing or lacking you need to do something to help this problem so that is all the facts for today i hope you found it interesting as always comment down below your thoughts or maybe myths that you know or your take on everything because the thing about the skincare world is that there's so much information today something can be true tomorrow is actually not so thank you for watching and once again really hope that you enjoyed i'm so excited to see you next time and please don't forget to send screen share and subscribe